back to the shop. All right, we're gonna tackle the Suburban again today on this fuel system deal where it won't let me put gas in the gas tank. All right, if you watched the video before um, in this playlist about the Suburban, we replaced charcoal canister, the vent for the, uh, the, the vent system, uh, I can't remember, the vent valve and the purge valve on the engine. So there's a purge valve up on the engine uh, that releases pressure um, or pulls a vacuum, pressurizes the tank, vacuums the tank down, check for leaks or however it works. So whatever, uh, we tried to blow through all those lines and um, went and put fuel in it and it still wouldn't take fuel properly, uh, which is a royal pain in the butt. So um, I think we've got a clog where it goes, that vent goes into the pump in the top of the tank. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a lot, I got the fuel ran out where it's pretty low. I'm gonna take the straps down. Um, I'm gonna lower the straps on the gas tank and uh, try, I'm gonna try to do it without taking it all the way out. We'll see if that works. Sometimes things work like that in my favor, sometimes they don't. Uh, but we're gonna lower it down and try to blow through these hoses again. Uh, I have not lowered it down yet to do that, so I wanna, um, I know that there's carbon particles stuck somewhere that's preventing this thing from venting. Um, all right, we're gonna get at it. I was talking to a friend of mine, before I pull this tank out, he suggested I didn't blow through this line and I just did, and some carbon came pull, coming back, just came back out, excuse me. And I blew it this way, and some came out that way too. So I'm going to take the gas cap off, see if I can blow through that. I may be able to unclog it. I'm going to try one more time to unclog this thing without taking the tank out. Um, I have seen carbon go all the way, in a video somebody made, go all the way to the top of the fuel pump. Um... So, I don't know, man. I really think I should take it down. Really do. If I put gas in this thing, then it's gonna, I'm going to make it where I can't get it out. Blew through that vent line, uh, but I decided to drop the tank anyway. Well, I, got no, well, I have no gas in it, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tank down. I'm not going to take it all the way out, so... I lowered the drive shaft and uh, pulled the hoses off the end of this tank. And now I'm gonna see if I can show you. I'm gonna take that those lines off. The green one should be the fuel. This should be the vent. So we're gonna unsnap this. Try to film this <laughs> and do this one-handed here. Which should be anybody's ever messed with these. Knows it's hard to do it one-handed if not impossible. So probably have to set the camera down. But I'm assuming this line right here has got um, carbon built up all the way to it. But I'm not positive. That just may be a return line for fuel. Um, but I don't think... No, I'm wrong. It's the green one is the vent. That's the fuel line. Okay, so it's this one. All right, we're gonna blow through that. See all that crap that looks like rat turds? It's coming out of that rollover valve line, watch. I may have blew the wad out already, but that is what's going on. Those little rat turd looking things are carbon out of the charcoal canister. So I'm gonna re-blow all these lines out and reattach them, put it all back up. We should be able to put fuel in after that. Okay, so we got a, I got all the lines blown out. That was um, for sure still a ton of carbon build up in those lines. So I, I unhooked all the lines except for the main fuel line going out of the fuel pump. Um, blew through the tank, blew through all the lines. As you can see, all that black stuff looks like little rat turds all over the floor. It's all the little carbon pellets. You see where I've been walking in it and smearing it all over the floor. There's enough carbon here to cook a couple hamburgers on the charcoal grill. I mean, dang. 
uh, I blew a ton out before when I put the new charcoal canister in it and um, the vent valves and the purge valves. So uh, I blew a bunch out of that new charcoal canister too. So I don't know if it's was put in there because of stuff in the lines or if it's already breaking down. I doubt it's already breaking down. It's only like a month old. Um, but I blew it all off. I didn't have to pull the tank all the way out. I did drop the drive shaft so I could access the top of the tank when I lowered it down. Uh, my main suggestion is if you're going to do this, um, run this, run it out of gas. Get all the gas out of it because you don't want gas sloshing around when you take that filler tube off um, that goes the main go the main end of the fuel tank. When you lower this tank down the back, it's all going to pour out right there. Trust me, I've done these fuel pumps, a bunch of them, and you don't want to have gas in them because. You tilt it down, you got to tilt it. If you want to take it all the way out, you got to tilt it all the way down and then slide it out because it, it won't drop straight down because of this cross member. Uh, and you can't take the cross member out. So, not necessary to take it all the way out uh, to do what I did today on clearing the lines, but it is to do a pump. So, I took the drive shaft down, lowered the tank down, blew all the lines out again all the way up even all the way up to the uh, purge valve again up on the engine so i'm going to change the oil in this thing again real quick and um and uh, we're going back with 030 again this thing is not ticking if you follow the suburban story over here this playlist on these the suburban uh there's gonna be plenty more videos too because we got a lot of stuff to do this thing the um the lifter ticking is, is gone away for sure uh with the 030 Mobile One in it. So, enjoying not listening to the lifter tick when we're riding around. All right, well, I'm gonna change the oil real quick and then we're gonna ride to the gas station and see if this thing will take gas like a normal vehicle. It better, it should. <laughs> Bailey Girl, Boo Boo, Boogie Woogie. Boogie woogie. Oh, you got your stick. Got your stick. Okay. You wanna go for a ride? Hey, Boogie. Let's go for a ride. Go put some gas in this thing. You wanna go for a ride? Come on. Don't bring your stick. Yeah. Alright. Caleb and Bailey are gonna go for a ride. Alright, final test. See if this thing will take some fuel now. I have pretty confident that it will let's find out all right we're gonna see if this thing will take some gas what do you think Bailey you think it'll take some gas this time huh high five you think it's gonna take some gas all right Seven point seven nine. It clicked off. We were on empty with the gas light on.
One more. High five for success. You don't think it's success? Give me five. High five, belly girl. High five. Hi. All right. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, so it clicked off twice during the fill up. We put right at 30 gallons in. I put about a gallon into the house before we came. And uh, that's success because before it would take you 20 minutes to get a quarter tank in it. And although it did cook off at 7.9 gallons or 779 or something like that. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. New Kodiaks. Anyway, 7.79 uh, gallons it clicked off and then um, again at like 22 gallons or something like that it clicked off once. But I'm talking about before, you can go back and watch our other videos. It would click off at a half gallon. Uh, every once in a while you get a couple gallons in it you'd be like all right i think it's gonna take gas now nope click and then every half gallon it would click you could barely barely crack the nozzle so it would um you try to slow the flow of fuel going in down and no nope, that didn't didn't matter it didn't care it didn't care if you're putting it in as slow as humanly possible it would still fill the filler neck up and click off so if you're having this issue do what I did the first time and, and uh, change the charcoal canister, the purge valve, and the vent solenoid. But I highly recommend you uh, drop that tank down and blow all the lines out real good because that rollover valve was full. Uh, and I didn't blow it. I didn't blow that out the first time, and mine had gone on for so long that uh, it was too too late. We had filled the lines up all the way to the engine. So anyway, uh, problem's resolved now and that's how you fix this issue. You've got to, uh, you gotta get that charcoal out of those lines. And there's a bunch of lines. They zigzag all over the top, top of the tank. They um, go all the way to the front of the engine to the purge solenoid. That's about it. We appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. I did. You learned something, Caleb? Yeah. Caleb learned something. I don't think Bailey learned anything, but that's okay. We'll let her we'll let her slide. Hit that subscribe. It don't cost anything, man. It's free. And we appreciate you joining. Uh, if you've already joined and subscribed. We appreciate you coming back and watching, man. We really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Give us a like. And I'm going to wrap this up because we're about to pass the jail and I probably shouldn't be holding this camera. All right. <laughs> See you in the next one. Peace.